Hey kids, it's the Mr. McFly here. How you doing? Hope you're well. Absolutely gorgeous day here in the Chilterns. It's a little bit chilly. It's about uh, three degrees. Still haven't given in to the old thermal underwear yet though. Still going with my new RST gear and it's working a treat. Uh, warm as you like today and I've been out on uh, on bikes quite a lot today so uh, so that's great news anyway that wasn't the the reason for the uh, vlog today the reason for the vlog is because I'm on a different bike to usual uh, I've got this it's an F800R BMW uh, which I'm using as a loan bike while my GS is in for its service just thought I'd take the opportunity though to come out for a quick ride on her and uh, and do a quick review for you so uh, it's a naked twin um, this is the 2014 model, so it's the outgoing model, they made some changes for 2015. But let me just stop up here, show you around the bike, uh, and then we'll go for a little ride and I'll let you know what I think of it. If you're in the market for one of these, hope it might be of use. Okay, stay tuned. Okay kids, so here she is, the uh, BMW F800R, as you can see, a sort of a, a naked bike. No attempt at being a retro, I suppose it's in the in the same sort of ballpark as um, things like the Tramp Street Triple or the uh, Honda Hornet or the uh, Suzuki Inazuma, I suppose, something like that. It's an 800cc parallel twin, as I say. It's got an absolutely lovely engine, I've ridden it for a little while this morning and uh, really, really quite a sweet engine. No vibes or anything, you just wouldn't think it was a twin, you'd think it was a four-cylinder. So I suppose the first thing to say about it are the, the looks, I suppose, are um, an acquired taste. I'm not too sure I like the looks of it. The back end is all fine as far as I'm concerned, but I think the front end looks a little bit spindly, uh, and I'm just not sure about those lights. Um, this, as I say, is the 2014 model, and they've done some uh, redesign for the 2015 model. Um, some new lights which look better, or in fact a single light on the front, some new fairings, etc. And I think that has definitely improved the look of the bike. But, uh, you know, looks are a taste thing for me. It doesn't do it on looks, but, uh, but that's a minor point. And um, what else to point out about her why we're sitting here? Uh, massive, uh, massive exhaust on her, um, which I think actually looks quite nice on this particular BMW. Um, doesn't make a great deal of noise though, she's really sweet when she runs, it's a bit like riding a sewing machine, it runs really lovely. Um, back we've got a single disc brake with the um, baby Brembo um, pistons. On the front we've got uh, Brembos again with massive twin um, discs which are great, although the, um, the brakes as you can see aren't radial. I think they may have uh, made them radial for the 2015, but um, there we go. So the engine itself is the parallel twin as I say um, water cooled of course and this one puts out about 87 brake horsepower so feels quite pokey the first and second gear are quite long so it doesn't feel um, you know as angry as say my street triple um, but she does run really nicely really sweet the my favorite feature of the bike is in fact the engine okay so that's enough chat let's get on the bike take it for a ride and uh, see what we think on the move okay so the first thing that uh, struck me when I first rode this bike uh, this morning, and I've ridden it for a few hours today, I've had a good old go on it to get used to it, um, is that actually you feel quite um, tucked up on it, quite cramped. Your, your legs are much more up um, tight towards your sort of chest, if you see what I mean, than they are on any other bike that I've ridden. Um, so it's a fairly aggressive um, seating position, although you are still upright, so it's very comfy. Um, I'm five foot nine and I find it fine, but I think if you are much taller than that, you might feel it a bit cramped just because your legs are so tucked up. So that's one thing to be aware of. Um, the other thing that immediately struck me is just how um, sweet this parallel twin engine is. Other parallel twins that I've ridden before have been quite vibey. This one certainly isn't. Uh, if you were just put on it and asked what sort of engine is this, I might think it was a four cylinder, it is that smooth. Um, so that's a really, really good thing about it. The other great thing is, I don't know if you can see these gauges on the on the um, camera, but they're kind of old school, so you've got um, two analogue dials there, which I actually absolutely prefer to LED type gauges only. And unlike my GS, which I just cannot read the gauges because they're too small, these are actually very easy to read, so that's a great feature of the bike. So as far as the uh, gauges are concerned, you've got everything you need there. You've got a little um, info button here on the... Um, on the left hand grip uh, which cycles through the usual sorts of uh, features and functions so you've got fuel range um, you've got miles per gallon outside temperature all that kind of thing which is great uh, and in the big number there that you can possibly see says so five at the moment is the gear position indicator which is something I always like um, you know not essential but I've always had them on my bikes and I, and I kind of like them and I like the fact that it's uh, it's nice and big on this bike so that's a great feature um, the brakes, although they're not um, radials, I have to say they feel very good indeed. This machine's got ABS, I think it's probably a standard now. 
uh, and the brakes are very confidence giving so that's that's really nice uh, the gearbox changes nice and smooth no problems there um, as I mentioned before it's got quite a long first and second gear so it doesn't feel like an animal um, on the off which uh, is probably a good thing if you're just coming to larger motorcycles. I think this bike probably is aimed at either people just getting back onto bikes or maybe people that have just um, passed their test and want their first big bike. It very much fits into that category. I did uh, a lot of filtering on it this morning, a lot of filtering uh, in busy traffic and I have to say it was great for that. Uh, having filtered in the GS beforehand and then filtering on this, of course, this was much, much easier. So as well as an ideal first big bike, this would make a great daily commuter. Uh, I certainly wouldn't describe it as an exciting bike. It's a very friendly machine to ride. Uh, it doesn't seem to have any vices, nothing to catch you out too much. Um, so I think if it was your first big bike, you wouldn't go far wrong. Switch gear itself is a uh, classic, a normal BMW. Um, so it looks very familiar to me. Not too many buttons and dials to worry about on this machine, of course. Uh, it has got heated grips with two settings, which is the same as on the GS, so that's very nice. Got them on at the moment. Uh, and of course the good news is on these more modern BMWs they have of course resorted to um, having an, an indicator which is only the one button and not uh, not a button on each side of the handlebars which uh, is something that would have put me off buying a BMW if they were still doing that so that's not the case on this machine I'm glad to say well uh, I'll look to get to a faster bit of road and we'll wind her up a bit and just see what she sounds like uh, when we're not uh, on these small wet roads and behind traffic one thing I would say about this bike, of course it being a naked, you are obviously out in the wind blast. Something I'm quite used to and don't mind, it's a nice and smooth airflow. But it does seem somehow um, stronger than I get on the on the street triple, so I don't know if this little fairing on here, if you can call it that, is just not quite so effective, but uh, you're certainly out in the wind on this machine. The other thing I guess it's worth uh, mentioning as well about the F800R is it's uh, just to add to its friendly nature, it's quite, quite a low seat height, uh, I'm not sure what it is, it's certainly no, uh, no higher than 800 millimetres, it's very easy to get both my feet on the ground, as I say, I'm only 5 foot 9, um, so it's very easy from that uh, viewpoint. Also, it's a pretty light bike, I think uh, dry, it's 177 kilograms, so pretty light, so um, no problem manhandling it around, if you're worried about that sort of thing, again, uh, just a friendly characteristic particularly if it's your first big bike. Okay, coming up to a slightly faster road now, we can, uh, we can see what she feels like when we accelerate a little bit. Right, see you down there lads. So here you go, here's uh, 70 miles an hour, normal sort of motorway speeds. Uh, and the bike is absolutely no problem at all, it's got loads more if you need it, so uh, if you've got a bit of dual carriageway or motorway on your route then again the F800R takes that all in its stride, no problem. She feels nice and solid in the corners, quite agile but uh, very stable, which is nice. So there we have it, the BMW F800R, the 2014 model, um, 87 brake horsepower, uh, good Brembo brakes, tuck tuck seating position, sweet uh, twin engine though, no vibes, uh, nice bit of character to it, but uh, really smooth, uh, no problems there, nice and light bike, nice and low, uh, ideal if, you, if it's like your first big bike, or you know you're just getting back into motorcycles, then uh, recommend it, the looks aren't for everybody, uh, but that's entirely a subjective thing, so uh, I hope that's been of interest if you're in the market for one of these sort of bikes and look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Messenden Fly and Cheerio.